Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to F1 2017 where today it is race day here in Bahrain. Now, this is the 2018 Bahrain Grand Prix. If you didn't see my video earlier on, unfortunately we had a pretty dismal performance in qualifying. We only managed 19th in the Q1 session, which of course means we were knocked out. Unfortunately, that just came down to me not quite getting the lap right, getting a little bit balked by Lewis Hamilton uh, on our final flying lap actually, but fundamentally it all just comes down to our lack of pace with the engine side of things. So if you can see here, uh, we <laughs> have only got 50% left on the engine and it's after basically two races, so we're in deep trouble on that side of things when it comes to durability, but hopefully as the season goes on we should be able to upgrade the car a little bit better and sort of help, well, the durability side of things, which I didn't really understand was that big of a deal at Melbourne, but I certainly do now. Now, before we get into today's race, you're probably wondering, for those that haven't seen any of my uh, races here on F1 2017 in the past, I am playing on the PC, and one of the benefits about playing on the PC is that you actually get third-party modifications to the game uh, available online to install and we've got a full 2018 mod that will be running today so we've got all the new liveries all the new drivers all the new logos the only thing we don't have is the new chassis themselves and some of the driver animations are of the drivers from last year so don't be surprised if you see Pascal Verline walking around uh, in front of the TV camera in a sec and it will say Charles Leclerc or Charles Leclerc on the bottom. So another thing I just want to clear up quickly before we get into today's race is that we are running uh, the career mode here on F1 2017 which means we are running off last year's schedule. Now last year's schedule in Formula 1 we had the Chinese Grand Prix before the Bahrain Grand Prix whereas this year it's the other way around. It's the Bahrain Grand Prix second and then the uh, Chinese Grand Prix third on the sort of calendar so I've actually already ran the Chinese Grand Prix I'll be uploading it the same time as what they do this year so I'll be uploading China after this one but yeah that was definitely a very interesting race to say the least and that'll be coming when the sort of Chinese Grand Prix is raced in real life but today we're all focused on Bahrain so without any further ado we'll jump straight into today's race and hopefully we can get a decent result from the back. <laughs> it's going to be a tough one. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Raikkonen, Ricardo, Sebastian Vettel and Verstappen, Holkenberg, Ocon, Grosjean and Daniel Kvyat, Magnussen, Perez, Fernando Alonso and Palmer, Van Dorn, Sainz, Marcus Ericsson and Pascal Wehrlein. A Williams and Lance Stroll rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Keep your eyes open on the run to turn one and keep it clean. We want to come out in one piece. Good luck. All right, yeah, definitely turn one will be a tough corner to <laughs> navigate, especially starting off the back. We're going to be trying to make up as many positions in these early laps as possible. So, as you saw there, both Williams off the back. Not a good start to the year for us, but it is a long race. I am going to be selecting the higher tyre management sort of strategy, so we'll be only making two stops. Um, I am going to run 52, 53 kilos of fuel. <laughs> Don't want to start. I hate saving fuel. It's like the worst thing to have to do, so I'd rather start out on a higher fuel setting and be able to use that sort of max fuel or high fuel uh, consumption mode on the engine because well I'm definitely going to need to defend at one point or another in this race I can feel it already setup wise we've got a pretty decent setup uh, as you can see there's quite there's well there's barely any aero on the car at all uh, it's mainly due to the fact that I've got such low power that I don't really need that much downforce in the corners uh, so you can see there it's just some of the other bits to it I'll just rush through that uh, quite quickly so we can get on to the race itself all right here we go round two of the year technically round three on my sort of season that I'm doing but I'm going to be uploading it uh, uploading it as round two so let's set up on this or set off on this formation lap I should say and hopefully we can get a decent run into turn one 
Just do a quick practice start here. Okay, All right. Checked. A little bit too much revs on the initial sort of clutch from the initial part of the start, but the rest was good, so we'll try to use a little bit less on the actual start. But it's all going to be how we get through the first couple of laps, I reckon, because we're not going to be able to overtake some of these guys on raw pace. As you can see, there's a couple of guys in front of us as well, starting on the softer tyre, so the super soft. Myself and Stroll will be starting on the soft side, which is the harder compound, trying to go a little bit longer. So, uh, one thing I just want to point out as well, I do apologise if you can hear my steering wheel in the background. I am using a uh, G29, which is quite a rattler when it comes down to feedback and some of the curbs around here. I do like having the force feedback quite high. I've raced a lot of open wheel cars in real life and it always feels so weird driving an open wheel car especially with no feedback I definitely like to feel what the car's doing especially in sim racing when you can't actually really feel the car without using well you can't use your body to feel the car like you can in real life you can feel it through the seat of your pants in real life but on here it's all visual and through the feeling of the steering wheel Alright, so the AI will form us up for the rest of the sort of way to the grid. And we'll be off and away. Alrighty, here we go, round two of the 2018 season. Alright, we're underway. A little bit of wheel spin on that start but not too bad. Try and squeeze around the outside of everyone yet. Oh, there's a Toy Rosso there. Oh, big yellow flag. Oh my god. A decent start. Good job. What? Okay, the safety car is out. The safety car is out. We need to form up at a reduced pace. Keep a close eye on that delta time. Make sure to keep it positive. Okay, I need <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and look at the replay as to what happened on that first corner, but we're somehow in 11th. I don't know what happened there, it was a big bus stop, I think one of the, mis uh, when it, one of the Ferraris actually went around, but we're under safety car. Wow, okay. Have we got any damage or did we make it through that? <laughs> I just, I literally just saw everyone stopped and I was like, free spots! <laughs> so I just gassed it. And got well sideways, that's for sure. We're on the MG UK. We need to stay out of bridge fuel mode to manage it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Try and save some fuel on this safety car period. So we're gonna be under this for a while. I don't know what happened there, but I think everyone's got going again. Usually when someone DNFs it tells you. Some drama on the first corner. Power output will be less than optimal. Yeah, you're telling me.
Alright, so we're actually, yeah, we're in 11th, so we've gained 9 spots after that complete melee on the first corner. Unfortunately, we had to give 2 back because I'd assume it was because we passed under yellow, but I mean, I was just trying to avoid everyone that was stationary in front of me. But we'll take it. Now, a lot of these guys, as I said earlier on, are on the super soft tyre, so uh, they will probably have to go longer than, or shorter than we will. So hopefully we can use this two-stop uh, two strategy to make up some positions. Right, pick up a pace of touch, please. We need to close to within 10 car lengths of the car ahead. The only is, you can see here, we got 69% on the actual engine unit itself, so... I calculated it before the race and it will just get us through the race, but I mean, far out. It's quite ridiculous after, as it was, as I said before, we've run two races, we've actually run China and already recorded that one, but three races to have 70% on the ICE, you know, we're going to have to spend some serious coin on, <laughs> on the durability side of this thing, let alone the power output, I mean, the power output of this engine was fairly shit to begin with. <laughs> Which is ridiculous because we're supposed to really have the same output as the Mercedes. Uh, but yeah, no, not good, not fun, but provides us with more of a challenge, that's for sure. I mean, I've definitely felt like we could add some points at Melbourne, but got seriously screwed over in the pits. I just, I, it was, in, I ended up being three miles an hour too fast entering pit road, and that's all it took. Alonso up to some of his passing under the safety car tricks. <laughs> At least this game's realistic. <laughs> Trying to save as much fuel as we can. We've actually saved a whole lap now. Here we go. Ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. The track is clear. Green flag. Ah, uh, didn't quite get the run that I wanted. Defend big time here. Dive bomb for the boys. It's still there. A bit rude on the exit, but gotta concede, mate. Oh, that's too much curb. Alright, up inside the top ten. Just see how long we can hold it here.
tracks. Try to stay off the curves oh and on the rough surfaces. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the super salts. What power? <laughs> Basically, I'm driving a GP2 car right now. my favourite corner to pass on. <laughs> just fighting to stay anywhere near the top 10 Oop. Driving like shit. I don't know why this. I mean, I know I'm on a heavy fuel load and whatnot, but really not much grip in this car right now. I guess I've used so much of it on the opening laps, trying to keep my position. made some contact there. <laughs> oh, this is so depressing. I should rename this video How to Block for 29 Laps. I mean, I haven't had to do this since bloody race with like Marussia and whatnot on like F1 2010. Has only done 29% or whatever, I may as well just stay out. Okay, it is. I'm gonna stay out and make it a one stop. Oh. 
slight contact with the Ferrari, but we got away with it. That's Raikkonen in front of us. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to run until lap 12 and put the medium tyre on. Hopefully, on a one-stop, slow and steady, you'll win the race. Or win a point, at least. train behind us. I'm just going to let these guys go by, we're not racing these guys. Watch this, this direct comparison to the engine we're supposedly have. that I had DRS there. Alright, so I'm not going to pit this lap, I'm going to pit the next one. Oh, shit. Next to us. Okay, that would be Magnuson. Let him go by.
That's a lot of kerb. Alright, pitting this lap. This lap. Pitting this lap, then come into the pits at the end of this lap. All right, come on, don't speed. Very soft there. <laughs> Not taking any chances after Melbourne. Alright, here we go. In and out, fellas, let's go. Complete, go now. 2.4, that's not bad. It's a good stop. this tyre because this baby is taking us to the end. Hopefully we can gain some spots with the second round of pit stops. Actually, no grip on these medium tyres, that's for sure. Tires last to the end. The gap to the car ahead is 6.2 seconds.
I don't know much how much possible power I could possibly lose from here on out. <laughs> So we come out behind Vettel, who I assume is what uh, was turned around in turn one. until this thing blows up. Piece of shit. <laughs> Doing a Verstappen. So we're up into 11th, which is not bad. But we have got absolutely dead tyres compared to everyone else in, <laughs> in front of us. Or behind us, I should say.
Vienna. Right, so we're actually in the points. Lance is in the pits. Oh, I so badly want to hold on to this point. Good thing is I think they're fighting behind me so that's going to help us out a little bit. Here they come. Still got eight laps to go. All right, they're now in the DRS. This mod that I've downloaded, I just want to reiterate, is just uh, skins and uh, well, liveries and and the drivers' names and whatnot. It doesn't affect the performance at all. So we genuinely just have a really slow car on F1 2017. Check. Okay, we're ready for you. Box this lap. Back off. <laughs> I'm making the team orders now. <laughs> oh my god. Man, I'm just getting absolutely destroyed out here. Oh my god, there's another one. Call me Maldonado, why not? 
The sheep's trying to pass me. He's done it. Got next, oh my god, there's so many cars behind me. <laughs> they hate my life. Ah, uh, just go by. I'm so done. Oh my god, where are they all coming from? Spanish after this one. Oh, around the outside. The turbocharger is on its last legs. Let's try to keep Bruh, everything is on its last legs, shut up. <laughs> It was a nice idea, but at the end of the day we just don't have enough pace to pull off the one stop. Bad boys now. Woohoo! The gap to the car ahead is 3.5 seconds. Oh my god, how many laps left? This is torturous. I mean, we haven't got that much wear. Oh yeah, we do. Quite a bit on that left rear.
perhaps a few remaining. Even the Saubers are just blowing past me. Yeehaw! Maybe I should have gone a little bit longer on the uh, soft in the first stint, but besides that, I mean, it still wouldn't really have made a difference. Had to try something. Two laps to go at the line. See if we can hold on. 17th. See if we can do it. I mean, I don't think going onto the super softs or whatever would have made that much difference because it's, I mean, yes, there's less grip, but it's not all that bad. I mean, I guess I have no power, so it really wouldn't have made a difference. If I had a lot of power, I probably would have spun the rears up a lot by now and had no, no tyre left, but there's really no issues with the car itself, it's just the engine. Last lap. See if we can hold on to 17. <coughs> Dive bomb for the boys. Oh, ding 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 ding. Oh wow, we almost got lapped. Ah, we survived turn one. to reach for the run to the line. <laughs>
Ah, bad run. Where is he? Oh, now he got me. <laughs> Damn it. Oh well. Well, I should probably rename this video of 29 laps of how to block or 29 laps of being a dick or 29 That's laps of Maldonado esque driving. It hardly <laughs> down. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, they played the safety car to absolute well, perfection. That's one thing There's I'd like so to see in real life. To worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari. All right, there's the big man, Raikkonen. Actually, Hamilton didn't even get on the podium in the end. I think Vettel was the... Ferrari that spun out at the beginning, but we'll go and have a look. Wow, so Raikkonen actually ended up winning by 23 seconds in the end. Hamilton, who started on pole, ends up finishing fifth. Uh, wow, look, there's quite a train behind Bottas in second, but Vettel, who I think was the one that spun out, we'll go and have a look at the replay. We'll see if it works. Uh, I've had troubles watching the replay in the past for some reason. It just seems to crash the game. Um, I don't know why, but anyway, should have really had 17th, but we gained one position, I suppose. I mean, we were as high as second and as low as last, so, <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. You see Stroll once again with no pace either. He finished a lap down, so uh, it's just the car itself is just ridiculously slow, unfortunately, but hopefully as the season goes on, we'll get better. I mean, tracks like Monaco... We'll have um, maybe a little bit of an advantage with the less of the <laughs> less straights, but we'll just go and quickly see what happened on lap one. So we got a decent getaway, a little bit of wheel spin, but for the most part, it wasn't too bad. Just a little bit behind on the reaction timing. That's about it. See a massive checkup. Yeah, it was. It was uh, Vettel. You just see him tagging the back of. Um, I think it was one of the Red Bulls. So if we go change. Well, this is from my view. So everyone was stopped, and I was just like, <laughs> three spots and gassed it, and I spun the thing around. Three wide ain't never gonna work through there. I wonder how many times we've seen that over the years in real life. Anyway, that's what caused that initial safety car, and then, well, the rest was history. Alright guys, well, there it is. That is the end of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Unfortunately, it wasn't as good as what I was hoping it to be. We just had absolutely no pace at all, and it's mainly due to the fact that we just have no engine left at all. I mean, look at that. We had uh, overall wear was 66% on the IC... Ah, uh, sorry, no. Overall wear was 81% on the actual engine itself everything else is in the 60s and 70s so that is that engine pretty much done and we will have to go to the second power unit just well basically after two rounds which is really unfortunate uh, well three rounds I should say because we've actually already run Shanghai but yeah not how we wanted to start the year in Formula One I mean we've had a almost second last after a, a contact with Hartley in the first race and now as basically third last so I guess we've improved one position but yeah no that was not how we wanted to start the year off hopefully we get better throughout the year hopefully we can have some decent results in the coming rounds but yeah a bit disappointed to say the least and well we just need to upgrade this shit box of a car <laughs> to be honest Alright guys, thanks once again for tuning in. Stay tuned, we've got plenty more content coming over the weekend in, well, the NASCAR iRacing Series 1 at Texas, and then also MotoGP. So we've got plenty left to come. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, I will catch you guys later.